morning. My name is Alan Shearer, and um, I live with bipolar disorder. I have, over the past five years, through uh, self-inflection, been able to, um, I don't think you can ever beat it, really. I think you can just learn to maintain it, learn to understand it, learn to celebrate it, uh, embrace it and become less of a victim, more of a survivor um, through self-love, through uh, understanding, acceptance, to realize that you're valuable, you're important, and things can change and that you have to do it. It's up to you. It is um, not up to somebody else to make you feel good. It is up to you to learn how to feel better. And that is through many things. That is through uh, therapy, but that doesn't necessarily mean sitting down with a doctor, sitting down with a uh, psychologist or a psychiatrist, learning to understand you. I mean, they have problems as well. I mean, not there's. I don't believe there's anybody in this world that doesn't uh, have demons, have uh, shortcomings, uh, limitations in their lives that stop them from being as good as they possibly could be. So when I say therapy, I say different things, and I'm going to share a little story with you on how I came to become uh, a better Alan. Uh, it was on January 4th, 2010, and I had just said goodbye to a girl I didn't really know. Uh, she had stayed over, uh, we had, you know, spent some time together, and I kind of had an epiphany that was this the life that I wanted to lead? Was this all that I had to offer myself? Uh, at the time, I was 265 pounds. I had lived in Boston for about six months. And it was time to change. I didn't know that. It just came to me. It just was a time where I wasn't satisfied with the life that I was leading or the lack of a life that I wasn't actually leading. I was basically just existing. I, I was here, but what was I doing? Um, so it was, it was like 10.30 in the morning. And so that day I went and got a gym membership and I had a, a better state of mind, a better peace of mind. I wasn't willing to, to stay where I was. Uh, so I started working out, started running, started eating better, started thinking better, started treating myself better. Um, and I'm not one to, to do drugs and things like that, but there was this moment where uh, one of my roommates had uh, said, hey, why don't you, you know, try some of this stuff? And I was like, well, you know, I really don't like that. Uh, it makes me, makes me kind of crazy inside my head, you know, it gives me paranoid and things like that. He's like, just give it a shot. It's probably one of the best things I did. I, I, you know, every moment in our lives, if we allow it to be, is important. And so, so I took a couple hits off of, off of some of this really hydroponic stuff. And I went up in my room and I, and I had even more of an epiphany. Um, I must have laughed, I must have cried, I must have been angry happy, I mean, every emotion that you possibly can have, kind of a, the gauntlet of, of emotions and the words I am came to the forefront of that little uh, case of being high. And it, it really was kind of like maybe what the Indians, uh, the Native Americans do uh, with the peyote and it kind of just brings you to this place. And it kind of brought me to that place and it kind of helped me to realize that I am. What is I am? You have to fill in the after the I am. I am powerful. I am awesome. You know, I am courageous. I am kind. I mean, that's up to you. But the words I am are the truth. And it's up to you to realize or allow yourself to realize um, just what and who you are. And... It hasn't been easy. It's been five years of, you know, 
bumps and bruises and scrapes and wrong roads and different paths and things like that. But the biggest thing that I have realized is that this is my life, you know, and whether it's running or biking or CrossFit or November Project or uh, being still and not doing anything and just letting myself be so that I can grow and that I can change and that I can blossom and I can water myself better and I can treat myself better and I can love myself better. Um, so can you. I mean, really, so can you. And when you, when you worry too much about what somebody else is doing or they're not doing for you, you're living the victim life. You know, you're not a victim. You're a survivor. You're here. You're important. I believe it. I believe in you. But you've got to start believing in you. You've got to do less of the things that hurt you and do more of the things that help you. And then probably you're going to say, well, I don't know how to do that. And that's okay. It starts with the baby steps. It starts with making better decisions. It starts with not putting yourself in those situations that have, you know, crumbled you to the ground so many times. And that's going to be bothersome because your ego's not one. Ego's not going to want to allow you to do that. Your ego is going to want to keep you where it has you, right underneath its wing. But you've got to do the things that scare you. You've got to do the things that bother you. You've got to be uncomfortable to change. And positive change is possible. And if you want to check out my Facebook page, it's www.facebook.allen, A L A N, photos, P H O T O S dot com. And that's my Facebook page, and you want to friend me, you want to do whatever, you just want to read some of the things that I post. Uh, I post positive affirmations. My Facebook page is a positive affirmation. And if you want to check out some of my photography, things that I've done to um, uh, overcome my past and to be the greatest therapy for me, it's uh, www.500px.com forward slash A-L-A-N S-C-H-E-R-E-R, -E -E photographer, all one word. Uh, and that has a kind of an online portfolio of things that I've done, whether it's portraits or city shots, anything. Any, um, just some of my best work. Uh, take a look at that. Uh, it can help you to find maybe things about yourself. And maybe, you know, you need hobbies, you need things like that. Photography became a huge hobby for me, and sometimes I make money doing it, sometimes I don't. But uh, it helps me to, to get into the world and be part of other people's lives and, and help capture beautiful things that I see through the lens. But that I, but I just share that. I share my life with other people. I share myself, my soul, and, and I'm always learning. And so can you. So I hope you have a great day.